Hi guys, we're clearing out a couple of these beds today to plant up and I wanted to show you what a garlic bulbil looks like when it's sprouted. Um, so these are those little brown sort of clove looking things that you see at the bottom of your hard neck garlics when you pull them up um, to harvest. You can leave those in the soil and they'll sprout up just like this and you'll get a pretty good size round out of this in the first year. And a round is just, you know, it kind of looks like an onion. It hasn't split into cloves yet. And they get about this big. Um, so I just leave them in the soil and I've harvested rounds and used them in my cooking many times and I can't, you really cannot tell the difference between that and a split clove. So um, leave them in there and harvest some rounds or leave them in there for an additional year and you'll get a full head of garlic. You can see this is one of the um, full heads of garlic that we left in. So you can see several leaves. I'm going to end up pulling this up and breaking it apart and planting it in another bed. And I have a bunch of other little bulbils that popped up also. Um, but I want to take all the garlic out of this bed and move it to the bed that I'm going to be working on in a little bit. So here is what that garlic looks like so far. And you see there's a ton of really good long roots already growing off of it. Now, this, it's not gonna be a problem if you uh, damage the roots at all. See, I'm cutting them, kind of severing them right there. I'm gonna try to get this one piece off uh, because there's plenty of energy in this bulb to Oh, that's really in there. There's plenty of energy in this bulb. So see that one clove already turned into a nice size round. That'll be a good size garlic this year. Um, but there's plenty of energy in this bulb for them to push off more roots if they need to, which they will. Um, so this will survive just fine. You could transplant these just fine in it and, you're, and you'll still get garlic. Oh no, where did the, this one come from? Was it rotted or you cut it? I accidentally hit it with this. Oh. But you can see there's another one right here coming up. So obviously I really wouldn't recommend doing this. I'm just grabbing the cloves. This is one that got left in also. Um, it's just easier for me to grab the individual cloves off while it's still in the ground instead of pulling the whole thing up because they're super rooted in. But see, you could still divide the individual cloves and it's not really gonna hurt hurt the plant very much and you could plant these individually of course it's better to do this in the springtime not right now but um this is what I'm working with right now because I'm trying to do something else with this bed so for this one I'm just going to pull off one clove at a time also see these are doing really well in here do the same for these other ones All right, so now, see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plants, nine plants, and there's a bunch of cornlets left in here. And I'll just let those stay in here. A little grub for the chickens. Um, so I'm gonna pull up these ones too because I wanna do something different in this bed, but I wanna keep these garlic plants because they're good plants. All right, this is all of the garlic that I pulled up from this bed, and I'm gonna plant them right away over into the bed that Garrett's working on.
Hey guys, I thought I would just show you what we picked up at Wally World recently, Walmart. Um, we saw they had some bulbs on sale, which wasn't too bad a deal. A buck fifty for six of the double bulbs, which I really like. These bulbs, I planted them around my pond when we first moved here, and I really just love them. And they're a really good size. These are much bigger than the ones that I bought originally, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, so I got a couple of those, and then I also got some more alliums. Um, I think this is the smaller variety, the purple sensation. Yeah, that seems, I think that was, they have like, the, it's probably about that size of a head on them. Um, but those bulbs actually looked pretty good too. So, um, and those come with five, so I got two of those. And then I just picked up um, some violas. You guys know I plant violas every year. Um, I just love them. They last a really long time here during the winter months, even during a hard frost. They just look beautiful. And then we're going to be planting some Napa cabbage. I just got a little flat, a little um, six pack of those because I'm really not focusing on a winter garden this year because there's so much that we have to do to prepare our gardens for springtime. Um, but I do want to grow a little bit of uh, Napa cabbage because I want to make some homemade kimchi. Um, so we're going to get those planted and then I've got to fix up this bed. Garrett needs to do some repairs on it, and I'm going to be planting um, the bulbs in that bed, I think. We're planting Napa cabbage, and these require a 12 to 18 inch spacing. So I think in this bed, it's about a 48 inches uh, across. So we're going to do three per row, and we're going to do two rows. That'll give us about 16 or so inches. So.